The Harlequins are here. Spiky bits. Welcome back, Hobby Maniacs. I'm Rob Bear, and today we are checking out the brand new Eldari slash Harlequin releases for the End of Games Workshop's 2017 fiscal year. Going out with a bang question mark <laughs> i guess technically there's no new releases over memorial day weekend to pre-order so this is it this is it for the year right here so we've got the harlequin book for 35 dollars us the data cards for 15 and the new eldari webway gate for 40 dollars us now normally we do a big breakdown of the harlequin codex however probably not going to get that out being a holiday weekend and the fact that uh, we had some car issues, so we're a little late to the game this week on things. So unfortunately, we have lots to say about this. We will be posting up our uh, article post uh, covering everything that's been revealed, pretty much everything to know about the Harlequins, except for some data sheet kind of things. And I've already gone through and noticed a few things that uh, weren't widely available. So we'll just cap, uh, we'll just kind of go over those here in a second, real quick. But this is more about the Eldar Web uh, Eldari Webway Gate. Uh, unbox and build kind of talking about the quality of the terrain because it is the uh, the Chinese terrain kind of type deal here although it, in the past it was uh, you know kind of needed a little improvement it's been getting steadily better and better since uh, what 2015 I believe it was to now so we're going to take a closer look at that and see just how good the webway gate is quality wise and what it can do in game Okay, so let's talk about some Harlequin stuff real, real, real quick. Uh, go over to spikybits.com. I'm sure I'll put the link in uh, the video description below as well, talking about all the stratagems and things that you need to know. But some important data sheet stuff to be aware of is that they changed up some of the weapons. Like, for instance, Caress was strength five, now it's plus two. So other buffs that are out there, there may be some play here. I haven't really considered it or thought about it a lot, but it's not just straight. It's plus and the embrace is plus one, the kiss is plus one right here. Now the caress did go down in points, which you can see all this listed over on the site as well. That's Jester, I did notice the Shrieker ammunition went down to neg one AP, it was just par AP, so that's pretty cool to see because there's a lot of combos here that you can do with the Death Jester, uh, depending you know, which uh, stratagem and such you play, you can get a lot of shots here and this guy can single out targets he can do a lot of damage. He is going to be the bane of small, squishy characters out there for sure that we're going to see in the near future. Uh, some other stuff that I did notice. Oh, Dream, where are the... Shadow Seer also looks to get two psychic powers now. So the psychic chart in here is huge and it's varied. So that's very cool that they get the uh, chance to manifest two psychic powers in the attempt to deny one and it knows two from the Phantasmacene discipline now instead of just one. So a little bit more of a change from the index that I noticed. And they also have listed in here the webway gate itself. Now here's the thing, the, yes, okay, so here it is. The webway gate is a single model formed with two separate pieces. When setting these pieces up, place them so that the arch is formed with the bases five inches apart. So that right there was very hard to see in some of the early pictures that we saw. So now it's a little bit clear of how this sets up and makes it a little bit more specific, which is very clutch to see because a lot of us had questions like, wait a minute, so where exactly can you put this? And it might have led to some issues in gameplay as far as that goes. And that's really, and feel free to chime in, chime in, in the contents as well. There's the points values below uh, any other pertinent changes to war scrolls and stuff that we hadn't covered already on the site. But I'm just gonna go ahead and bounce over to the webway gate. So again, webway gate, $40 US, uh, can be taken by any Aldari uh, faction out there, any Aldari detachment. This is your normal size box for, you know, like a tank or a vehicle or something like that. It's two smaller squad size boxes puts together. Don't let the camera fool you. It's just, uh, you know, it's hard to get sometimes something that big on camera. It's going to come with four sprues, uh, and it looks like several of these are identical sprues. So you're going to get two sets of identical sprues right here, which makes sense because you got two halves of, of the gate. And a little instruction manual here. Let's preview it real quick. 
So you're going to have a lot of left and right halves. It's going to be interesting to see how easy or not easy it is to clean this mess up. Uh, looks like the bottom of the support goes on around the little bottom statue gargoyle thing that's already kind of connected. And then it's got its little tripod feet. Interesting. Okay, so it's all kind of like a one-piece mold, it looks like. And then you just put the extra pieces on. And then the big spire there goes on in two pieces. Slots right in the top. The head here, the uh, front armor and spirit stone, it looks like, of the statue. And a little mini... War scroll or data sheet for the webway gate right there in all the different languages. And then there's the US one. Nope, that's Italian or something. <laughs> but there it is with a little picture of exactly how big it is. And of course, we're gonna look closely at that here in a second as well and compare it to some of the other models out there. So let's take a look at the sprue. And it's sprue time. So here it is. This is about the size of a normal half sprue, like with a squad or something like that. So you imagine. You know, your space marines and such are going to be very small compared to this Eldar Wraith Gate right here. Uh, interesting and yet mildly intimidating at the same time. So it looks like the plane of the sprue, where the sprue lines are going to be, is on the spine. So I'm wondering if they did that cleverly like they normally seem to do with some of this multi-part stuff to hide the mold lines. And you can see there's a big mold line right here. Doesn't look too bad on the other halves. Now this would be a major, you know what, to get in here and clean a mold line off of all of that area, but we'll find out here in a second when we take a look at it and get this out and start putting it together. Same right here. I really hope there's not a mold line all the way across those teeth on the inside of the Wraith Gate. But it looks like the rest of the detail, while it isn't fine, the spots that are detailed you know, it's not like super intricate detail. This is a lot better than some of the uh, stuff that's cast in China that we saw in the past. So I'm going to clip these out, get this whole set put together and let you know just how much work you're going to be looking at here. Woo! So here it is. That was that was exciting. It was so exciting. I only built one of them. <laughs> it took me about 20 minutes to shave down uh, the components that needed to be shaved down. And get it all glued together uh, there is a specific gotcha right here that you need to be aware of this where is it this little support piece connects right here and it flips up and locks in right here and then these little armor plates which i guess are like sort of ceramic vestibule or something go on and kind of connect these two sections together so this is its own piece believe it or not and there's a little stud here that needs to go in first before you put these two halves together. So just keep that in mind. The instructions aren't too clear on it, unfortunately, but we got it done. Unfortunately, we got a little bit of glue on here, which I scraped away. No big deal, to be honest, but it's something to be aware of. Now, as far as uh, where all the mold lines are, on the back of this fin here, there's a ton of them that you're gonna have to shave down. But for the most part, they're really just on the, the any flat area that happens to be here. There's gonna be quite a few. But it didn't take, it probably took just as long to put it together as it did to uh, actually shave down the mold line. So not too bad to be quite honest, but I just, you know, didn't want to spend an hour putting this thing together when we could show you just as good of the comparison of things with one of these. Now, one thing you want to uh, probably do is not glue this part right here because, or maybe it's up here, maybe it's here. I don't know where it is anymore thought it was maybe I did glue it there was a piece here that just slotted right in the top it was right here perhaps it has glued itself well that was a close one holy cow so it was right here but I slotted it in and I didn't glue it but there was enough residual glue underneath here that it started to connect unfortunately but no big deal we got it we got it free so don't be a stupid like I was wow it's still wet from glue hey, don't be a stupid like I was and slot that in when it's still wet with glue. But here's the thing, it'll hold snug without any glue, which means that you can actually transport this bad boy in your bag because that that this is huge. Like this is as big as some models. You're talking seven inches right here. And this is something that when you assemble it, it's nearly 14 inches tall, which is a ridiculous thing to even try to assemble, even though some of the Eldar stuff is that big and you know, you're gonna be working with larger vehicles and stuff, especially when it comes to some of the Harlequins and things. So don't be a stupid, 
don't let that lock in and actually start to glue itself. So now back to the comparison. We already know it is roughly 14 inches tall, but just real quick to prove it to you, it is roughly 14 inches tall to the tip right there. So it's very ginormous. It will tower over the table. You've seen the pictures of the race night inside of it, but how does that compare to other things we might know, like the upcoming nights? Well, here's how big a Night Titan is. We have one of these that was painted by Den of Imagination Studios, and you can see here that it doesn't even come up, well, I guess with the Rocket Pod, it comes up about just as far as a Wraith Knight itself, and then you've got, you know, the opportunity to have some tanks and different things in here, and they are just gonna, you know, you put a Serpent or something like that right down in there, and pff, doesn't even, doesn't even compare, and then while I don't have any dirty, dirty Eldar models, I do have other Xenos models right here. It kind of gives you an idea of the same scale that they are as far as comparing to this. Now, overall, it seems like the kit went together well. I'm pretty pleased with it. Uh, there's not a whole lot of deflashing to do. And besides this one gotcha here that they don't really explain, and hey, don't glue this part right here together so you can actually transport it. I think it's a pretty neat kit and definitely worth uh, the money. I mean, this is, you know, it's basically two models in and of itself that are a rather large scale for $40. Of course, you can always find it online for, you know, 15% off uh, every day, at least here in America. So overall, I really like the kit. I think the details on par. And I don't really have any complaints. I think uh, I think Games Workshop, it's really cool, the design of this bottom piece right here and all the extra parts that go on here in order to hide and minimize uh, the flash itself and the fact that you don't have to attach those two parts there. So that's it for this one. Like I said, we did what we could with the uh, Harlequin review itself, but unfortunately, extenuating circumstances, holiday and all, et cetera, et cetera. Apologize for that. Hopefully we'll have some more content for you in the future, but check in the links below or check in the description below or the comments pinned to the top. And I'll have a couple of articles there that you can definitely get a lot more out of from the podcast to our uh, complete full reveal, reveal of the Harlequin rules earlier in the release week itself. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications so you can be the very first to like and comment on all our videos. Deleted scenes, bonus content, and all the interviews and post-game wrap-up videos can be located in the Hall of Veterans on thelongward.net. Visit thelongward.net today and try a week completely free with no strings attached. That's not all. TheLongWord.net is also your hobby resource for exclusive early access with an ad-free experience to all your favorite videos. Members of the Hall of Veterans gain early exclusive access to multiple hobby videos.